Hamilton. I'm the education officer at St Macca's Cathedral and as part of the National Heritage Lottery Fund um, my job has been paid for to do with the conservation work of the cathedral. Um, we have an activity plan of projects to follow um, and one of them was to do some um, sort of rewilding, it was called at the beginning, of the churchyard. Now the graveyard actually belongs to Aberdeen City Council um, but all, obviously the cathedral have an interest in that as well. So um, as it was Covid and there were so many restrictions in place we thought well maybe an outdoor um, activity would be a good one to get started mm. with because it's maybe possible that we could meet outdoors mm. which was why we followed that one up quite quickly last year. Um, so we got together a small working party of people from Old Aberdeen, from the Cathedral, from the Community Association, from Friends of Seton Park, um, uh, all over the place really, people who we thought we might be interested in joining us and formed a small steering group. So we've met probably about four times now. And one of our aims really was to manage the grass outside um, slightly differently or have a balance between the management so that we can encourage wildlife and biodiversity. Um, it's quite a fine balance because a lot of people like a graveyard to be kept cut very short and looking neat and tidy. Um, but obviously insects and wildlife don't always appreciate that, so <laughs> it's a balance. So what we've done is we've devised a, a grass management plan with the council um, for the time being that has a bit of both. So there's an area east of the cathedral where there's a, a nice grassy area, which was ideal for keeping long. And it's a little bit more out of the way, so it's not in the sort of more formal area of the graveyard where people might take pictures for weddings and that sort of thing. So we planted about 100 wildflowers there, um, native wildflowers, Scottish um, native flowers that we actually have been grown from seed by a gentleman con called John Molster who lives in Fivey and it's his great passion is native um, wildflowers. So we've introduced things like um, oxeye daisy and red campion and wild marjoram and things like that into the graveyard there. But we also wanted to have an area um, a little bit at the front here. So as you come up the main path towards the cathedral, on the left hand side there's a triangle which we have um, planted some creeping thyme and some other low growing plants. Um, that won't sort of get in the way of the graves so people can't read them. They'll look quite neat and tidy, but give um, some colour and some flowers for pollinators to, um, you know, enjoy during the year. So we've um, formed a gardening group that's met about three times now to help weed and water and plant. Um, and we've also had a BioBlitz day where we got some experts from the northeast of Scotland Biological Record Centre to come and um, survey the graveyard and see what flora and fauna we had, which was really interesting actually. We had a lot of knowledgeable people around that day, but we also had um, families and um, students and um, older people, you know, we had a lot of people just come along for the day and enjoy finding out more about the wildlife. And we discovered that we had over 80 um, species of wildflowers in the graveyard, mm -hmm. which was fantastic. Um, not so many insects though. So I think that's definitely something that um, hopefully, if we do a survey in another year or two, we will find hopefully we've increased, you know, by the planting schemes that we've got in place. Um, so that's really what we're doing. Um, we entered the It's Your Neighbourhood scheme, which is run by Beautiful Scotland, mm -hmm. and they came and gave us a, an assessment. And that was great because they gave us a level three. It goes from one to six, which we thought was very good for a starting project. Mm -hmm. But they also gave us lots of pointers of things we could maybe do, like better signage, for example, mm -hmm. so people know what we're actually about, mm -hmm. you know, and um, can join in and, and help yeah. and things like that. So. Yeah, so it, it's it's a great project. It brings people so. together. Yeah.